guys this is our semo flower if you want to learn how to make this semo flower at home let's ride on to the video <laughs> I'm buying a libo and I'm going to be missing okay. the So this libo now is going for 300 naira in Ibadan. I don't know how much they sell it in the area in case. Guys, don't mind the market noise. You know, when it comes to market, it comes with noise, different types of sand. So, we are making semu flour. And to make our semu flour, we need just only corn, that is our white corn, and ilubo. But right now, I'm just trying to discuss with my vendor that, look, this particular ilubo. This is the particular type of ilubo that I'm going to be using for my semu flour. Ilubo is going for 300 naira, but I was trying to ask my vendor if he accepts 270 naira, but he was saying no, that the last price is... With the semo flower, it comes with a ratio because we are making use of just our white corn and a lubo that is um cassava flour. Now, in making your semo with corn and cassava flour, which is our ilubo, it has to come in a ratio. That is, it is ratio 1 to 2. Ratio 1 to 2. So, our ilubo is going to be 1. Why our white corn is 2. So, if I'm buying 1 kg of ilubo, I'll be buying 2 kg of corn. Go. So guys, we are going to be buying corn now. So follow me to buy corn. Manda, ma. Guys, the measurement determines the price. If you are buying this, this one is 650 and this is 600 naira, uh, depending on the goal. I think they are bigger than themselves. So I'll be going for this because the invoice is small. Guys, I'm going to be grinding it. This is where I'm going to be grinding. I like using industrial machine because it's going to really grind it. It's going to make it so powder. But before that, I'm going to be doing out the shaft. We really like um, making sure that anything I'm going to be grinding is going to be very neat. I can't take it on because of the cost of going on my coming back. So I'm going to be going out the shaft. It comes with, let's um, see, it has to so. I don't blow at the south. 
what is the consumable? Um, I think it's consumable, but at the same time, it's good your food is clean. I, <laughs> there's a way I pronounce a word in Igebu and this baba was trying to ask me what is the meaning of that word imagine see all seats ah oh, god I was just trying to crack my brain though I don't understand I don't even know the meaning but the baba was just on my neck now, what is this in Igebu I said okay my guy they say oh my show could be a new shake please what is that shake <laughs> that's what the baba was asking me I don't know what is check so if I do book and you know the meaning of check please can just put it in the comment section. Let's know what is check The Baba is not telling me that it's on my show for Dara. I was like, hey, now wow, if you are Yoruba, please, and you are a Yoruba, please. This interpretation eh, is somehow here in this market. The Baba was really fire me, fire back to back. The noise. This Baba was really trying to fire me. I'm on all seat here. Hey! Oh, the next thing I'm going to do is um, after picking out the debt, though it did not have debt, then please, if you are buying your corn, make sure is not um, those new corn. New corn, once you buy new corn, your corn is really going to get moist after you stock it at home. That is after you stock your semopowered flour at home. So the best thing for you is you look for a very dry corn. In the market, you have dry corn and you have a wet new corn. Let me put it, not really wet, but new corn. So most times, try and ask your vendor, if their corn is new or old but um i believe um, with little knowledge of identifying new and um, old corn is easy to identify one you can take the corn and just take one seed that corn seed break it with your teeth sometimes once you see that is very very hard the, um, the new corn is not going to be so hard once you break with your teeth, it's going to feel a little bit um, that softness. You are going to feel it. So, please, for this semo flour, go for a very dry white comb. Now, you can use yellow comb because I know some people ask me, can't I use yellow comb? Yes, you can use yellow comb, but I prefer when my semo uh, flour is giving me the white. Uh, whitish color i like it than them uh, giving me this yellowish color and then um, the elu bottle you go for the small one that is the type that i bought if you go for those big big elbows sometimes they make it colored that is those big um, ca um cassava elubo if it's those big ones the back is usually brown so it's going to make your 
semo very brown and it might look um, darker <laughs> you know and when your swallow it doesn't look attractive sometimes your kids tend to like no i'm not eating what is this i can't eat this but um if it looks attractive then they want to like mommy i want more even if you have a visitor the person wants to taste it so that is what comes with identifying of the corn that you are buying and the elubo which is um cassava flour the dry cassava flour you are also buying to mix with it then um, grinding it if anybody's grinding for you please tell the person you should grind the corn first here i grinded the corn i make sure the corn is grinded into full powder before adding my cassava flour i also make sure i monitor my grinding now this is our semo flour so nice so how do you prepare your semo flour you have your pot on it um add your water and make your water um to come to boil that is boiling serious one then it's easy to make just add your semo flour i will call this semo flour semovina that is from me. My own semo name now is Semovina. If you want to buy this Semovina from me, you can contact me. I will sell my Semovina. Before you see, it's going to be very cheap now. Before you start seeing it in the shop and you say, oh, it's not expensive. You are going to buy it very cheap now. Then just add your flour. That is Semovina. Your semo flour. Add it. It gets thickened. Make sure it's thick because... Uh, it has a purpose why it has to get it. Don't make it watery at a start. Make sure the water and your semo flour has really mixed. That is, you try to use your turning gary, your turning stick to make sure that everything blend. Make sure they are well blend very well. So I'm trying to make sure that you don't, you can't even see the flour when it's well mixed. So now the your your making of this um, semo flour, you have to follow the right steps so that you'll be able to enjoy it. If you are not careful, it might have lumps, and if you don't want to have lumps, just try as much as possible. It's a very easy way to prepare this semo. It doesn't take um, a very long time, and it's not stressful. So after you've done the mix it make sure you thoroughly mix it that you won't feel any of the flour it's well mixed then the next thing is just try as much as possible pack everything together i'm removing the turning stick now mind you this is corn and you know corn sometimes gets um the takes time before it gets soft so what you try and do is after i've packed everything make sure it is well packed together then I'll add water. Now, I'm going to be conscious of adding water. I don't want to add too excess. So, I'll just add water a bit and just make sure that the water is um, is going to really cook it this time around. Now, the first method was when we pour in our semo flour and we mix. Then the second step is adding your water. You add water so that it's going to bring it to cook. It's like you're cooking um, a particular food. So... I'll leave it, cover it. Um, your cooking, it depends on your heat. It can take five minutes. It can take less than five minutes. So this is it. Once you see that it has really boiled, can you see it has really come to boil? Everything has really boiled. Then you get your garistis, then mix together. Wow, you're going to, if you've never tasted this before, you can just give it a try. You will say, Ojola Pips, please. Thank you for sharing this wonderful semo flour. Now, this semo flour, you are not having preservatives. You are sure of what you are eating. And you can boast of what you have, what you're putting in into, the, into your stomach. No coloring because this is just the flag. Can you see so lovely? You will like it. Wow, it goes with any kind of soup that you like, whether a gusi, whether ogbono, whether banga, wow, whether a we do, whether begiri, whether um, um, which other soup the way I have. 
any kind of soup around you then try as much as possible make sure it's not so thick if you're not eating it instantly then try as much as much try as much as possible to make sure you add um, enough water i'm adding water gradually so that it is not going to come like a uh, paste it's going to give me this swallow but at the same time i want it in such a way that um hmm, it's going to be soft and um, you're going to like it so this semo flour that i'm making you can make yours like this your kids are going to read it can you see it look at how it looks like it's so good it's so nice you will enjoy every bit of it now like i said initially about the color of the corn if you are using yellow corn it's going to give you a yellow form color which i don't really appreciate i would prefer it's white like this because of so that it look attractive then if you felt after you've mixed it's not soft enough then you can go ahead and add water so that you get it very very soft if you're watching me and you've not subscribed please subscribe to oju or lakwis please please and um guys i really want you to put in the comment section videos that you really want me to bring out for you because i'm here to serve you not what i like but what you want and what you want to see just put it in the comment section i'm going to do that for you and please don't forget to like this video just click on that like button welcome and like my video ah see our semo like i call it my own semo vina you can make your own and add your own name whatever semo what you want to put this is how to make your semo and when you wrap it up for your kids for your family for your dinner time look at how it looks like oh my gosh oh so fine don't mind my camera it's not really bringing out the beauty of this semo guys thank you for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe like and share bye